13 years later, you've helped 20 people, 20 children with their educations. And, and you've actually seen some young people turn into adults and get actual degrees because of Asia Cottom's foundation. Yes. Talk a little bit about that. How does that make you feel? You feel good. You, you're helping some people who need help. In a way, it helped me uh, to see the, the students, the young men, young women doing something positive. And when you see them graduating and you, you had a piece of it, it feels good. Mm -hmm. It says we're doing something right. We're on the right track. And so the website is asiacottom.com, and this is a 501c3. It's a charity, and all of the money raised uh, is used in one way or another to help children with their advanced education or their post-secondary educations in yes. college. Yes. Um, gosh, it's just fascinating to me. Of course, when we first started talking about doing this book, uh, I was opened up to a whole new world, and it was quite an emotional experience. But now, um, in the weeks afterwards, you had just massive amounts of money come in from people you've never met before. You had this inspiration to start the charity with it. And um, does this help you? Does this help you with your memories of your daughter? What does it do from that perspective? It helps for, well, I can speak for me, um, because we have, as parents, we were always um, supporters of education. So for me, every time one of our scholars graduates, that's Asia graduating, mm -hmm. every time. That's what it does for me. So it's actually a way of healing, and it's actually a way of keeping her memory alive. So as long as the foundation goes on, she'll never die. Wow. So what are you hoping that this book does for people? For me, I think it's twofold. I think that as we go through life, if you live long enough, everyone has lost somebody. But in a tragedy. I was going to say everybody has lost somebody, but to what degree of loss have people experienced? It's our belief that the loss of a child is worse than losing your parent, mm -hmm. losing a pet. It's, an, it's a loss that in my opinion, the hardest to overcome. But you can live again. That's what we learned. And through writing this book, um, we were healed emotionally, spiritually. I think that um, some of the things that we still carry, we were able to overcome in telling our story again. And help, hopefully, it can help other people here. It can help other people. Um, there's so much pain and grief and loss in the world today, and people are looking for ways to try to um, get past it. So you can move on when you have tragedy. You may never forget it, but health, hopefully it will be a way to help people understand that they can move on. How do you feel about it, Mr. Cottom? Being an author, writing a book like this, your daughter? Just want everybody to know you can survive. You, it's okay to cry. It's okay. It's okay to remember. Mm -hmm. It's okay to ask God why. But you still got to live. And if you have families, a wife and another, you got another child, my thing was dealing with making sure they was okay. This book helped me relieve some tension, mm. some frustration. Let everybody know you can survive. 